Hello everyone, this time we will be working or adding a tab view component from Prime React in our in our project. We will be using the previous project we created before, the data table, and I will be adding the, the uh, re GitHub repo in the description of this video. Um, I'm already got the code from the from the data table. You can. Uh, I'm already running the project. I, I mean, I already ran the npm start, so the project I got it over here. And for this video, we'll be, be we will be adding a tab, a couple of tabs, one for the posts, and in that tab we will be showing this content, and another one for the users. The users data will be this one. We will not show all of the columns, but at least the main ones um, ID name usernames username and so on so let's get started we need to start adding a couple of items here the tab view and also the tab panel from prime react tab view and since we are going to pull some information we also will need to store it somewhere and I'm creating that hook for that and also we will need to set the update index for our tabs and I'm adding this hook for that reason I'm setting here the default tab which will be the the zero the zero means the first one to the left now what I need here is to add I will reuse this code for getting the information for the users I will change here to users and the data will be sourced on users and now we need to add let me tap here or copy here tab view our acting index will be acted index which is this one and when that changes let me create this arrow function we will be changing changing our update index to the index of the tab now we can close it here and now we need to add a tab panel the header will be pause and right there we can I will add another div we can copy or move this data table and new position will be here in the panel now what I need is another that panel header will be users and I want to reuse this data table the source will be users and uh, as I mentioned before, I will not add all of the columns, but the most representative ID, name, what else, um, user, username, email. Um, I will add a couple of more columns, phone and the last one will be website okay let's see the results okay now we can see here we got a couple of, of tabs the first one is showing the data table that we had in the past and if we browse here to the users we can see another data table that we created here and the columns that we added are showing its uh, their content here.
Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.